Hi folks, I'm Nick with the Insulation Stop. This video is to show you how to insulate your walls with reflective foil insulation. We're down here in a customer's basement and they've asked us to add our foil insulation to their existing insulation system. When the house was built, it was roughed in with 2x4s and traditional fiberglass insulation was added. We have two ways that we can put our foil insulation in. We can use our staple tab product which has slight tabs on each side, allowing you to easily staple in in between the stud cavity. Or, for this application, we're going to use our standard roll, which is 48 inch by 125 feet, foil, double bubble, foil insulation. We've got our square edge product here. We're going to install it perpendicular to the stud face. The product is 48 inches wide by 125 feet long. The wall height is 90 inches. There'll be two rows of the reflective foil insulation and we'll staple the seam in the middle. Let's get started. Okay, we started to run the first course. I've simply tacked the one end and I want to get a staple on this end to hold it down before I can go ahead and attach it firmly. Now that we've got it up in place, simply add a few staples down the length of the wall and we'll go ahead and get the second sheet started. We're not using anything more than a standard staple gun. It's pretty easy to install because it's so lightweight and you don't need too many staples. Three to four per stud should be plenty. As with any wall, there are certain obstructions. As we ran the first course, we covered up one of the basement window wells, so we're going to go ahead and cut that out now. Cutting, product, cutting reflective foil insulation is easy. Simply use a standard utility knife with a fresh blade. Don't try to use scissors because they'll simply dole them out. Now that we've cut out for our window well, let's get started on the second course. Once you've got the product tacked into the corner, you can just go ahead and unroll it down the wall. Then we'll come back and we'll staple the product in and we would have completed our second course. As you go by, you can lose your markings for where your studs are pretty easy, just go ahead and feel with your hand where they are. Should you miss, don't worry, won't do anything to the product at all. For this wall, and due to the fact it's in a basement, it's finished the way it is. For a more refined look, you can always use our white poly insulation, which is the same product, 48 inch by 125 feet. It's poly white to one side and it's foil to the other side. Or for a finished drywall, you'd want to add some furring strips and then attach your drywall. For more information, please visit us on the website at www dot insulation stop dot com